Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And someone recently asked me, can you send emails directly from a Power BI report? And I was like, yes, you can with the new Power Automate visual. And they're like, Power Automate visual? It's like, stay tuned. If you find this for the very first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date from all the videos from both Adam and this guy. All right, the new Power Automate visual. It's been out for a couple of months and I got a chance to tinker with it when someone asked me, hey Patrick, can I send emails from a Power BI report? Can I enable my report consumers to send emails? And I was like, of course you can. You can use the new Power Automate visual, but it's not limited to just sending emails. It can write items to SharePoint lists. It can do, it can do so many things. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can select items in a table or from some other visual click the Power Automate visual and send some emails out. All right, so you guys know what I like to do. Instead of all this talking, let's do what? Let's head over to my laptop. To use this, the first thing you need to do is click on the ellipsis here. You choose Get More Visuals. The Power BI Visuals window will open and you type in Power Automate. And when you do that, you'll see it right there and click Add. I've already added it. And what I like to do, because I think I'm going to be using this a lot. So what I like to do is pin it. I'm going to pin it up with my other visuals so it'll show up all the time. So I'm going to right click on it and say Pin to Visualization Pane so we can keep it. And then what you do is you find some white space on your report or some area on your report, click there and click it. And so it'll open up and let's expand it out and let's see what this says. It says, okay, first thing you need to do is add some data with the item selected. You can see right here, it says Power Automate Data. These are the fields that you're gonna use in your Power Automate. Maybe they're gonna be used to create this, you know, add an item to your SharePoint list. Maybe they're gonna use to create a task. In our case, they're gonna be used in the context of the email. So let's find those items. So we want the sales order number. So that would be right here. We want the days until it's shipped. We want the full name and we want the email address of the customer that we're gonna send it to. The next thing you need to do is make sure that visual is selected, click the ellipsis and choose edit. It's going to open it up and right inside of Power BI, we have the Power Automate Flow Creator. It's right here in the context. I don't have to leave and go anywhere else. It's like one stop shopping. And what you do right at the top where it says new, you can create a new flow or you can use some existing flows. We're going to create a new flow because what fun would it be if we just use one that was already created? So we're going to say use one from an instant cloud flow. Basically, when someone clicks that button, it's going to fire off that flow. And here's my Power BI. When that Power BI button is clicked, and what we want to do, click new step. And there's so many things we can do right here. What I want to do is send an email. So let's see if I type send email. Perfect. Send an email. We're going to choose that. And what we're going to do is we're going to say for every person. So click in the two box, choose add dynamic content, and you're going to see the Power BI data email address. So this will be my customer email address. Since this is just a test and a video, I'm actually going to just send these emails to myself. I'm not going to pop in that email address. But if you were doing this in a real world scenario, you would use the email address of your customer. So I'm just going to use my user email, the email address of the person that's going to trigger the flow. And then the subject, I'm going to say, this is regarding sales order number. And then guess what we're going to do? We're just going to choose sales order number. And now what it's going to do is going to say for every one of these in the list, for every item that's part of the data set, run this. And then what we're going to do is say, dear full name, put a comma, press enter. Thank you for your order. We apologize for the delay. Your order will be shipped in ah, how many days? So it, we don't see it there, but if you just type days, there it goes, this number of days. And so we're going to put this in parentheses because it may be one day. And then maybe we'll say, thanks for your buzziness, <laughs> Patrick. Perfect. And that's it. So we've constructed this, it's gonna apply this to every element when my button is clicked, any data that's available within that context and send an email out for each one. So what you're gonna do is click save. And while it's saving, what I'm gonna do is, let's give it a name, email unshipped orders. There we go, and click save. And then we're gonna choose save and apply. We're gonna go back. Now you can see here's some details of it. I can click run, I can click apply, I can edit, I can turn it on and off. We'll come and look at this in just a little bit. So we'll go back to my report and now my flow is ready to go. Let's kind of format this up a little bit. I'm gonna put this right here. Instead of saying run flow, we can actually go over to our visualization pane, click on the format icon and there's properties that you can change. I can change the button text instead of saying run flow. I can say send emails. I can change the font color, the padding, the vertical 
alignment, the horizontal alignment, the feel, the title, you have control over a lot of things here. Before you do that, you need to add some context. So if you just click the button now, it's gonna send as many emails as available in your data set. You need to add some filters, all right? You need to be careful. So I probably will put a little warning or something like that on it before I put this out to my end users. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's say I'm working in California and it filters my data down to California. And then I wanna send an email to Alexander. And then if I hold down control, I wanna send one out to another Alexander. And then if I scroll down, I wanna send one to Charles Cox. So I have those three selected. And now if I hit control and press this button, it's going to say, hey, my flow is being triggered. And if we head over to my email, boom. So you can see, dear Alexander Brown, this is regarding sales order number, da, da, da. Dear Alexander, thank you for your order. We apologize. Your order will be shipped in two days. Thanks for your business, Patrick. And just like that, it works. Before you publish your report out, there's a few things you need to do for anyone that's going to trigger this flow. Let me show you. Before you publish this and give people access, you want to go here to edit. And remember I said we're we're going to come back and talk about all the stuff that's available so you can see this guy right here i'm going to click on this ellipsis and then i'm going to go to details if we go to details you can see the flow you can see the run history and everything that's going on and what i could do is i can add owners so maybe i want to make adam an owner so i can say a saxton you can make adam an owner here yep and then anyone that i just want them to run the flow i can go edit and then I could type them in. Maybe we'll give John Doe the ability to trigger the flow. So once I publish this report out, then both John and Adam will be able to trigger that flow based on their selection criteria. There's lots of other things. Think about the possibilities. There's so many things that could be done. All right, what do you guys think? You any questions, you any comments about this new flow visual? I love to know. Let's continue the conversation where? In the comments below. If it's your first time visiting a guy in the Cube channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.